Do you guys have a boring backyard and want to improve it? If yes, then I am here to help you. In this video, we'll dig a pond and build a tree stump where we can actually enchant our items. So stay tuned, let's get into the video. So we all know, for a good pond, we need some water. So let's get some water really quickly and dig the outline. Because I think the first thing you want to do while building a bond is just dig out the outline so you actually see the shape of the bond and then you know if you like it or not. And if you don't, then just, I don't know, reshape it. I wouldn't do a pond that's just like a square or, or just something really symmetrical. I'd rather have a pond that's not symmetrical. I'm happy with this shape. Now it's time to build a bridge over the pond and I have to tell you, honestly, I hate building bridges, okay? And I've never been good at building bridges. So this one is gonna suck. So please don't follow the bridge I'm gonna make probably. Unless you see that it looks cool and I even think that is cool. Yeah, then, then you can follow it. So what I'm gonna try right now is make a path that's like three blocks wide and then have two on the side as well for just some safety measures i guess um but i don't know I, it might be too big for this uh small pond damn striped oak looks so good just changed my mind two hours later striped oak still looks good but um for everything else i have to tell you this actually looks quite hideous but i don't know even how to fix it that's the worst part okay but i'm trying my best all right Ooh, ooh, this maybe just uh, changed the game. The middle beam. The middle beam. Yeah, this actually added some nice detail to the build. I like this a lot. What are you waiting for? Oh, this is this is a lot better. But it's so wide. I don't know if this is good. I think I should make a smaller bridge. Okay, I made it one block thinner. And it changed the world, okay? It is so much nicer. I added some fences on the bottom. It looks pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I mean, if I add some more details around the pond, and I think I should dig the pond a bit bigger as well, then it will look totally fine. Expanding the pond, boys. This is much better. This is so much better. I actually dug out the pond as well. I made it like a few layers deeper to give it some depth. And I made it a bit bigger, just change the shape a bit so it looks nicer. And it already looks good. But now it's time to replace some of the blocks on the bottom and on the side so it looks better. For that, I actually chose stone, some diorite. I know diorite is quite ugly, but I mean, on the bottom, it looks good, I guess. I have gravel, some coarse dirt, and nothing else really. And lads, we're spending money now. We're using sand on the bottom as well, because we rich rich. We have like a stack of sand. I, I know this thing is so rare and scarce in this map, but we gotta use some sand on the pond, you know. We gotta pimp the bond out. Now, the bottom is quite done, so we are going to trim the edges with stone and andesite. I think this looks the best and it gives a good vibe. I might add some cobblestone as well to the edges to give it some more color. And now the worst part actually starts. We have to fill in the pond, but unfortunately, I don't have any kelp. Kelp would help a lot because if you place kelp into the running water, it turns the running water into a solid water block. So, solid water, that sounded wrong, but yeah, you, you get what I mean. But since I don't have that, I need to do this thing that I'm doing right now. I just need to keep filling every single block in and and hope that some of the blocks will be filled in by themselves. And voila! I actually added some bushes, some cobblestone slabs, and some fences to the edges. It looks fine, okay? So just connect the path to the main path, and we have a road to the pond as well. Amazing. The pond is already looking good, but we need to add some trees, maybe something into the water as well. And also, I will be building a statue here. And this statue will be a frog. I've actually never built this statue before, but I think it's pretty easy to build a frog so let's give it a shot some andesite i don't i don't think i will make it out of like multiple blocks i'll just use the same block all over the place and for the eyes we're gonna pimp this right out okay we'll use emerald blocks because we rich rich okay i'm actually wondering if this will actually look like a frog we have some legs okay and half of the head done but um yeah that's about it <laughs> it's time to use the expensive stuff for eyes here we go oh yeah we are pimping this thing out like to a 200% flex. Let's see this. Oh, this actually looks like a frog. I think I need to replace some blocks maybe to give it uh, like a better shape. I don't know. Let's see. And it's a frog. It's a frog fountain. <laughs> this actually looks pretty cool. I dig that. We need to add some leaves to hide these ugly bottom because yeah, the backside is not the prettiest sight. I actually just got a new axe with silk touch efficiency five and everything this is so good this is like the best axe you can get 
So I think we'll have to do some harvesting on the wall of trees. Oh, this will take quite some time, but I mean, I'm happy. We need logs. We're going to do so much more building, so we'll probably use up all of the logs. All right. Man, do I love hoes. This new update, the nether update, hoes are finally useful. Mr. Beast would be so proud of me right now. Ah! Oh, that's hot. I'm planting the trees all day long. So we ended up with this many oak logs. Like, I think I've never had that many logs at once. I'm not even going to lie. This is probably the most oak logs I've ever had at once. I always chop them and use them up right away. So for the tree stump, I actually need some mushroom blocks. But yeah, you, you can't bone meal mushrooms in the nether. That kind of sucks. So we need to do it actually in the overworld. But it's light everywhere. So we need to figure something out. So they decided to actually build this 5x5 five five platform up in the air. And this actually gives a light level low enough needed to grow some mushrooms so now we can just bone mill this guy up and we'll have some mushroom blocks that we need come on grow lad ah oh, here we go this looks so good we can use our efficiency 5 silk touch axe now and just mine these instantly this is so satisfying this is just so so nice oh this is nice i love this so much this is so chill oh yeah by the way i forgot to tell you guys we actually got some jungle saplings from the wandering traders so we have a jungle tree now we have wines as well which is really cool but i need to get rid of the mushroom platform now so let's see or actually at least just light it up let's try to light it up ah uh, oh, got it no mobs will be spawning there now that is the main goal. I think I found a lot where I want to build the tree stump with the enchanting table and everything. This spot looks nice. So let's clear this up and start building the tree stump. So for the tree stump, if you're building one, you want to make kind of like a wonky shape. You don't want it to be symmetrical, just like with the pond. So what I'm going to do is I'll try to make almost a circle, but not exactly. So it has some differences and it looks a lot more interesting then okay i'm happy with this this will be the doorway we'll have a one door only no double doors i think this is gonna be good and now it's time to also switch out the floor to stone because stone goes with everything gray colors they fit with everything why not use just regular stone it looks amazing oh no i don't have enough oh no yep missing some so i added a few more layers as you can see just a few more layers. It's not really hard to do. You just need to go more inwards while building the top. You know, it goes thinner up on the top. And I think it actually does look a bit like a tree stump, but not fully. So we need to decorate the tree stump and also build it up higher. So it gives that tree stump vibe. So what I want to do here is I want to add like a mushroom growing off the side. I think this kind of shape is it's kind of fine, actually. Like this. Oh, yeah. Ah, the mushroom blocks, they have some weird physics. Not physics, but the color thing is just odd. Here we go. I think this mushroom kind of on a side growing looks pretty good. I have nothing bad to say about it. And now, as you can see, I added some leaves. I added some stone on the sides. I actually built two custom mushrooms. One really small and one like a medium one. And I made the tree stump taller. Added some fences and a lantern, and it looks good. Now it's time to grow a big, big tree here. Okay, we, we need a massive tree next to it. So let's bone meal this tree. And it's a tiny one. I don't want that. It doesn't fit here. You know what time it is. It's hoe time. I love hoes. Like, what can I say? Hoes are so good right now. Usually you have to just break these with your hands or scissors. Not anymore. Come on. I'm almost out. Oh, this is the tree we want. Look at this tree. It's amazing. It's huge. Now let's add a lantern to the tree for some lighting as well because we don't want any mobs to spawn here and it just looks nice. There we go. This is gorgeous. It's time to break the enchanting spot now. It's kind of sad to see it go but it will go into a lot nicer place and out here it looked kind of ugly anyways. Look at this place. The pond, the stump, everything is just coming together. So let's add the enchanting table somewhere in the middle so we can place the bookcases around it we just need to place these so we can be sure that we get level 30 enchantments because if we don't then what's the point right i want to keep like an odd shape so it looks a bit nicer but i don't know if the enchanting table can use those things from up there yep it, it can't okay we need to move these two um where should i put it I'll, I'll put it there let's see if it works no it doesn't okay okay let's move move these level 30 now oh wrong item oh level 30 we got it yes this is exactly what we needed 
mission completed. Now we need to do some more pimping out this thing. We need to add some leaves, horse dirt outside, and maybe even a fence or something. So I'll see you guys once I'm done with all of that. So I added some more things to the tree stump. As you can see, I added some walls, some more leaves, obviously. Everybody loves leaves. And I made like a custom pathway as well. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you like this thing that I built and the pond as well. And if you did, then leave a like down below. And in the next episode, we will be going on an adventure. So until then, take care. Have fun, lads. I'll see you next time.